In this example, I'm going to show you how you can create three-dimensional photo cubes like this. First of all, we will take three photos such as these and we will crop them all to squares. Then we'll make them the same size. I will do this quite a simple way of overlaying them just dragging them and they'll snap to the same size. Great, so that's our first step of making three images exactly the same size and ratio. Now we can apply a different 3D rotation for each of the images to make it into the face of a cube. So we'll right click and choose Format Picture. We'll go to this option effects and then we'll choose 3D rotation. From the preset menu, and choose any of these. And in this case, we're going to use an isometric. So the first one we'll choose is isometric left down. And we'll click on this one. We'll choose isometric right up. And then we'll click on this one and we'll choose isometric top up and there are now the three panels you need for your cube and we'll just drag them all in bring that up by one pixel excellent there's your cube now if you would like you can add effects to that if we click on these and go to 3d format you'll see there's a top bevel when you press the drop down, it will appear with these options. You can choose round, in this case, and we'll just choose a bevel of two. And again, I will now adjust it so it's in the right place. There we go. And so that just adds a nice three dimensional effect on the edges. So we can take an oval, drag it out to about here. Doesn't matter exactly where it is as we can adjust it later. We can go to Gradient Fill. We can choose Path under Type. We can get rid of these other stops by dragging them off. Click on them and drag down. And at the moment, that's going from white to blue. We can click on the white bit, change it to black. We can check on the blue bit and change that to black. Now what we want to do is make them transparent to make it give a shadow effect. So on the right hand side, which is the outer side of the circle, we will select 100% transparent. You can see it's starting to look like a shadow already. On the left hand side, select something like 40. And then importantly, we'll turn the outline off. Excellent, there's our shadow. We just right click and send it back. And that looks really good. Once you've created this 3D photo cube, you can also create it from different perspectives using the 3D rotation tool quite easily. First of all, use the lasso tool to select the whole object. You press Ctrl D to duplicate it. You can drag it into a new position. Now click on a face and right click and choose Format Picture. Now if we go into the 3D Rotation section, we can just select a different preset. So for example, we could use this one, which is the Off Axis one. Then we'll select the other face and select Off Axis one left. And the third face, and select off axis one right. And then we'll just drag them down so they're aligned. Just use the keyboard cursor keys there to get it exactly in the right position. And there you can see you easily have made a different rotation of the 3D cube. I would always recommend that whichever rotation you like, you stick to using the same rotation for all of your imagery on the screen.
Otherwise, it's quite confusing from a three-dimensional space to see a lot of things at different rotations on the same slide. I would also recommend, when you're using 3D rotation for effects similar such as this, that you stick to using the presets that are in the parallel section, of which you have isometric, off-axis 1, and off-axis 2. And this will make it a lot simpler to put the cubes together, because the X rotation, Y rotation, and Z rotation will be put in for you. And here is an example of how we can use the cubes in a nicely designed slide. I've taken the cube that we created earlier, I've duplicated it into three places, then I've added a small bit of animation. Just play that now. Excellent. 